This is Bumper to Bumper TV. One of the very interesting things about most mid-size sedans is that a hybrid version is usually offered. Honda was one of the early adopters of this technology, but stepped away from the niche when the Accord Hybrid with a V6 engine didn't catch on with the buying public. So a second attempt took that into consideration with the 2014 version. It's worth noting that this vehicle is already a darling of the environmental set, winning the Green Car of the Year award at the 2013 Los Angeles Auto Show. And when the bright lights dimmed, it was time to see what the Accord Hybrid does in the real world. One of the technical features we liked is how the Accord Hybrid goes into full electric mode at highway speeds. This is not a feature exclusive to Honda, but it does demonstrate how far hybrid technology has come. In fact, we found it to be eerily quiet with only wind and tire noise being heard. For the record, the mechanicals for the Accord Hybrid are a 2-liter Earth Dreams inline 4-cylinder engine delivering 141 horsepower and 122 foot-pounds of torque. The paired electric motor system creates 166 horsepower and a robust 226 foot-pounds of torque. Compare this to a traditional gasoline four-cylinder motor that offers 186 horsepower. And like nearly every hybrid out there, this comes with a CVT gearbox tied to a front-wheel drive configuration. The advertised fuel economy for the Accord Hybrid is 50 miles per gallon city and 45 mpg highway. We found that requires a great degree of hypermiling to make that work. The trunk is an example of spatial sleight of hand, with a 12.3 cubic foot space with a ledge over the high voltage battery. This does, however, intrude a little into the rear seat space, something typical of larger hybrids. The test vehicle was the Touring Edition, with all of the bells and whistles imaginable. We were extremely impressed with the audio interface that can accept Bluetooth-enabled services like AHA and Pandora Radio. These can be a viable alternative to satellite radio or pre-recorded media. But the downside to all of this is a price tag that can fall into the luxury sedan segment. Just something to consider, depending upon how committed a buyer is to green driving. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.